So one of the hardest parts of developing a Jamstack application is adding dynamic comments. When I was looking for a solution to this for my website, I came across utterances. And utterances is a comment solution for Jamstack websites that is built through the GitHub API. So it is a lightweight comments widget built on GitHub issues. So what this does is it takes your URL for your blog post and it creates a GitHub issue and you can log in through your GitHub account and comment on that post. Now adding this to a simple HTML website is pretty simple. You just copy and paste a script tab. However, in React, this won't work. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add utterances comments to your React-based application. So on the screen right now is a simple Next.js project. Now, if I open up index, I removed all the code from this page and I created a component named comments and I imported it and I'm using it. So let's jump right into it. The first thing we're gonna do is import React and component. Now what we're gonna do is create a class named comments and this will extend the component. Let's create a constructor, passing in the props. We'll call super. And down here, we're going to use react.createRef to create a comment box. Now below the constructor, we're going to say component DID mount. And inside of here is where we'll set all of the attributes. So if I come to this website here, if I scroll down, this is the script tag that we would have added if we had a simple HTML website. So we need to basically go through each of these, SRC, repo, issue term, all these, and add them via JavaScript. First off, let's create a script element. Now we can use the set attribute method and invoke that off of this script L. Now we can say SRC, and we'll set that to this here. We'll do it again. We'll say cross origin. We'll set that to anonymous. Next, we're gonna set the async property. And we need to set that to true. So we can just pass that in without the quotes. Next, we're gonna set the repo attribute. And this is simply your repository name where you want to hold the comments. So you can hold them in the same repository that your code is in, that's fine. But for me, I'm gonna create a new repo. And be sure to add your GitHub username before the repo name. In my case, I would do bjcarlson42 slash and then my repo name. So I haven't created a repo yet, but I'm just gonna name it YouTube dash utterance dash comments. Next, we need to set the issue term. And here they're setting it to path name. But if I go up here, I have a couple different options. So we can use the path name, the URL, the page title, the OG title, anything you want to do. So for me, I'm just going to use the URL. And then finally, we need to set the theme. Again, if we go back here, you'll see there's a bunch of different options. Now, if you are using a light mode and a dark mode, you can set it dynamically. But for me, in this case, I'm just going to hard code it to GitHub Lite. And finally, let's use the append child method to set this to the comment box ref. And then down below here, we'll say render. And we're going to return just a simple div element. And then inside of this div, return another div. Make sure that's lowercase. And we're gonna say ref is equal to this dot comment box. Remember this div here is all of this that we did. It will have all those properties. And then lastly, I'm gonna give this a style of width 100%. If you don't do this, your comment box will be a little squished. And then this property is optional, but I'm just gonna give this an ID of comments, 
format everything up. So this is looking pretty good. And that's all you need to do, guys. Again, make sure you have it imported wherever you want to use it, and you should see it. So I'm going to go ahead and create this uh, GitHub repository, push it up to Versal, and I'll be back when I do that. All right, there we go. So as you can see, my project has been successfully deployed on Versal. Let's go ahead and visit this. There we go. So we see the comments coming through. Here is the URL. Now if I sign in with GitHub, there we go, I'm signed in, and I can leave a comment. And you can preview it. Again, like I said, this takes Markdown. And we can comment. And you'll notice we're getting an error. It's saying utterances is not installed on this repo. So what we need to do is we need to add this app. So I'm going to hit install the app. We'll hit configure. And here I only have it added to select repositories, comments to two of my websites. So I'm going to go ahead and search for my repository and add it. So here's the repository. Let's click it. We'll save. Now when I go back to that site, as you can see, I'm, I'm logged in. That was saved through the cookies. Now if I say live comment test and hit comment, there we go. It's coming through. And again, if I go back to the repo, go to issues, the issue was created here. So feel free to click on the link in the description, which will bring you to the GitHub. And you can go to the website and you can leave a comment. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe for more programming content.